Suppose you want to organize a large talent show. A talent show with performances across multiple categories, like dancing, singing and more. There is a group of people that sign up to judge your talent show, and each one of them let you know how many performances they are willing to judge, and what performance categories they are an expert in. We also have a bunch of people that sign up to do a performance, and each performance belongs to a single category. For a performance to be at our talent show, we need one judge to be present that is an expert in the category of the performance. Given this information, can you assign each judge to one or more performances in the categories they're an expert in, such that we can have the most amount of performances at our talent show with that amount of judges and performances? Instead of poking at the problem ourselves, let's use flow networks and well-known algorithms for flow networks to make it easy and repeatable to solve the problem. Flow networks are networks of nodes that are connected together with paths that have a specific capacity. You can imagine it as a network of pipes through which a limited amount of water can flow. There are many well-known and optimized algorithms to calculate all sorts of useful things given a flow network. One of them being maximum flow through the graph. Given a starting point called the source and an ending point called the sink. You can imagine it as the source supplying an infinite amount of water to the start of the pipes. The capacity of the pipes limits how much water passes through the entire network and reaches the sink. An algorithm for max flow is able to calculate how the water should pass through the pipes such that the most water reaches the sink. In order to use this to solve our problem, we need to make a translation. A translation from our problem to a flow network that represents the problem in such a way that when we calculate the maximum flow through that network, it is equal to the maximum number of performances that can be judged at our talent show. Being able to do a translation like this is a very powerful technique, but it cannot be applied to all problems. But getting yourself familiar with this technique of translating problems into a flow network will help you identify problems faster that can be solved in a similar way. There are multiple algorithms to calculate the max flow in a flow network, one of them being Ford Volkerson, but I will not be going in depth on how these algorithms work in this video, because I strictly want to focus on how to translate the problem to a flow network. Enough talking, so let's get started with solving the problem. Let's start by identifying the key information in our problem statement and use that to make our flow network. We note that there is a set of people that are going to judge at our contest. Each judge has a value that tells us how many performances he is willing to judge. We also know that judges only attend performances of categories they are an expert in. Second, we see that there is a set of performances. Each performance only needs to be attended by one judge, and each performance belongs to a single category. Let's create an example set of judges and an example set of performances and translate it into a flow network. We create a set with judges, judge 1, 2 and 3. Judge 1 can attend one show and is an expert at dancing. Judge 2 is willing to attend two shows and is an expert at dancing and singing. Judge 3 will also attend two shows but is only an expert at singing. Then we create a set of five performances. 3 being of the dancing category, and 2 being in the category of singing. Let's create the flow network to solve our problem for this example. We start by creating a node for each of the judges in a single column. We also create a column of nodes for the performances, separating the ones that are in different categories for clarity. In order to represent the amount of shows each judge can attend, we create the network source and draw an edge from the source to each judge. The capacity on the edges corresponds with the amount of shows that the judge is willing to attend. Looking at judge 1, we see that the capacity from the source to judge 1 is 1. Thus, judge 1 will only be able to spend one flow on whatever it will be connected to. Let's now indicate what shows each judge can attend. We draw a connection from a judge to a performance if the judge is an expert at the category of that performance. So, Judge 1 is linked to all dancing performances, J2 to all performances, and J3 to all singing performances. We give all those edges a capacity of 1, 
so that a judge is only able to spend one flow per performance. Or in other words, if a judge says he will attend three shows and he goes to one show, going to that one show should only count as going to one show and should reduce the amount of shows he still goes to, to two. Finally, we add a sync to the flow network and we create an edge from each performance to the sync. Each of those edges gets a capacity of one as well because we want each of the shows to count at most one towards the amount of performances that we can have at our talent show. Now this is the finished flow network. Let's now create some example flow through the network to see how the flow reaching the sync is related to the amount of performances that can be judged. We use the flow that judge one receives from the source to attend performance one. We use the flow that judge two receives to attend performance three and four. Finally, the flow that judge three receives can only be used to attend performance five because the only other performance that judge three could attend is performance four, which judge two is already attending. Looking at the flow that reaches the sink, we see that it equals to four. And this corresponds to the amount of performances we can have at our talent show if we arrange our judges to judge the performances like we chose. As you may now see, being able to find the configuration of flow that leads to the maximum amount of flow to the sink will be the configuration that allows us to have the most performances at our talent show. An algorithm like Ford Fulkerson that finds the maximum flow is able to cleverly find how to send the flow from the judges to the performances such that the flow reaching the sink is as high as possible. Let's look at one of multiple possible configurations that reach the max flow for this flow network. This is a configuration where the flow at the sink reaches 5. We see that judge 1 is assigned to attend performance 1. We see that judge 2 attends performance 2 and performance 3. And we see that judge 3 can attend performance 4 and performance 5. Awesome! We have now seen how to translate our problem to a flow network and how to apply a well-known algorithm like Ford Fulkerson to find the solution to our problem. Finding the answer to our problem with a small example like this could have been done by hand. But you can imagine that when your group of judges and performers gets larger and the number of categories of performances also grows, that this problem becomes increasingly complex. And having a strategy of solving such a problem is incredibly useful. We can calculate how many steps it takes for Volkerson to calculate the maximum flow on a given flow network. This formula describes that the worst case amount of steps for Ford Volkerson to complete is the number of edges in the flow network times the maximum flow of the flow network. There is a popular alternative algorithm to find the max flow in a flow network called Edmunds Carp. The formula to calculate the amount of steps this algorithm takes to find the maximum flow is the amount of nodes times the amount of connections squared. This formula can be way easier to work with since the amount of steps needed to compute the max flow is known beforehand. Whereas with Ford Fulkerson, the amount of steps needed to compute the max flow is dependent on the max flow. So we can only make an estimate based on the capacities of the edges to the sink. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it helped you understand how you can solve certain problems by using flow networks and algorithms. If it did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. Have a nice day. Peace.